Hi, today we want to talk about um, something uh, a little bit different, but always about uh, making uh, quizzes for to publish on on internet on your website, whatever you want. And I found this uh, from uh, somewhere on my hard drive. Uh, I made it uh, last year, and I want to. I was looking back. At it looking and I find this code somewhere in the and let me see if there is some something here well and let me see how it works it's just JavaScript um, I used to make some uh, Python code to create the um, the different questions, but then I decided to use just JavaScript and implement everything in just one file. Okay, let me run this in a browser. You see, here are the questions that comes uh, randomly in in a random order. So here is the question. Here is a little picture here, and I think this is. Um, Yeah, this is on the internet. It's not on in the folder, so um, you get a answer, and this is in Italian. I just say that this is a document that comes this DDT that comes with uh, with this one with the invoice, and then you can. Okay, so you see there is this voice here, and if you want to use it, you don't have to understand everything that goes on. Let me create a new a new one. Uh, let me call it quits one, and you just have to go here. And as my computer is in Italian, uh, you will hear the voice in Italian, but on your computer um, you will hear the voice in, in English or in your language. So let's see how to make the question. Um, let's say, I want to say, um, what is the capital of Rome or Italy? And you gotta put three underscore here, and then maybe Rome. The first is the right one. Rome, Florence, Naples. Then uh, let's make another one, and let's say how much is uh, two plus two. And could be two, could be four, could be three. Okay, let's save it and run it. Okay, what? How much is two plus two? No. E due. Qual è la capitale dell'Italia? Ci siamo. Hai risposto in modo corretto a un okay. Uh, I'm it. I made a mistake here because I should have put the right answer as first as the first choice because then the the code will uh, shuffle the the questions. Let's make it again. What is the Italian capital? And two plus two. And there are some feedbacks from the voice. Um, that is this speech synthesis here. So um, that's how you can do this test. So even if it's not made in Python, I think it's it's interesting. And so I will uh, post it 
on my on my blog you will find the link in the description uh, of this of this video and j you just have to go here and substitute this um, this part here you find it at line 58 of the code and uh, remember to use this kind of apostrophes that makes you go to use a multi-line string and if you want to know how to make them on Windows just press just press Alt and Z Alt and 096 okay and and that's all you gotta do to to make it and if you wanna change um, some of the things that are in Italian you just go here go to the next question here check your answer and put it in English just in case you wanna uh, this kind of translation I will uh, let me know there are also some stuff that I can get rid of like this this thing here we don't need this and okay so uh, we don't have it anymore because I use it in on a site of mine and that's pretty all for this kind of quiz that you can make and publish on your site. Thank you and see you next time and remember to subscribe on my YouTube channel if you are interested in, uh, in uh, posts and videos like this. Thank you.